Hey guys, today we're gonna be going back uh, back out here on Silver Edge Peaks, and before I started this video, I saw good herd of good herd of mountain goat out here, so I'm gonna go after it. And also, out there I saw a gigantic diamond potential bighorn sheep. It was only a four, but it was giant. It went out of render distance. So this time I'm just gonna go after these. But I gotta get closer because I'm not gonna take a 300 plus yard shot on Mountain Goat. So I'm just gonna see if I can sneak up on them and take them down with the crossbow. Because I would love to do that. Bought me new arrows, so I'm pretty much set. But I don't think you're supposed to use those arrows. Because, as you can see, they are only used for coyote, deer, wild boar, wolf, elk, and bear, so I don't know if you're supposed to use that on them, but if I get close enough and they don't find me, or smell me, hear me, I have to go after them, but we have more of them out there, but I'm not going to go after there, essentially I already have like a bigger herd of them. So let's see if I can get up to those mountain goat. So I'd love to take a shot on that one. And I believe I'm gonna use the M1. Cause I don't think, I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it on the mountain goat, but I'm gonna try it anyways. So let's see if we can make this. Go good, because earlier I was sneaking up on a five medium black bear, and I got to about 89, 89 yards away from it. Then it spooked. <laughs> so that's oh, we have a terrible wind, so we can't get any closer. But I believe that three female is the biggest. So I might take her. She's a uh, 200. But if she would just turn a little bit more, that would be a perfect shot. If she would just turn. Because earlier I took this angle of a shot on a elk. And it didn't work out so well. He never went down. Warning call, it's not good. It's gone dark. Smoked that one, huh? I smoked one of them. But I couldn't have a take that shot on that level three because that was a terrible angle. So I couldn't do it. And also my suit that I have on right now looks like I should be in Mega McTear right now. <laughs> because I was sounding in Mega McTear earlier, so let's just go by and pick up this big horn I mean mountain go. Why do I keep saying big horn? So let's pick up this mountain goat. Uh, I believe I got a heart shot, maybe. And we also, we got a max weight gobbler out there and a couple more elk, but that's a big old max weight gobbler. Please don't tell me they're coming right back. There's a big horn that I got. Let's see what she's gonna be. <laughs> I believe that was like a heart shot because that was cool. Because she went straight down. Let's pick her up and see what she's going to be. She's going to be a 164 score on a white mountain goat. Which is, it's tiny, but I thought I got a heart shot on that. But how does the right lung smoke it? 
That's crazy. I never understood how does a single lung smoke it because, um, like, how do they not, they can probably breathe a little bit, but there's another one mount, mountain goat and, and we got more mountain goat. So, let me spot those mountain goat. We got a nice three. Oh yeah, let me travel back to the house. I'll be perfect. Now if you know they were there, but we got a good three. So I'll take her. I'll take him. If I don't spook them when I run up here. That's what I thought. Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Look at the shot. There's a two. There's a three. Got him. Got him. Missed. Missed. He's gonna come back this way. Slow down, buddy. Why do you have to run so fast? Follow him from that way. Hello. Miss. Just gonna try to do that. But I was so close to getting an intestine shot. Oh, big horn. If you want to keep doing calls at me, then show yourself. Then you won't have to worry about me anymore. Okay. If you just want to, if you don't want to care about me, then just let me shoot you. It's so easy. Just let me get you. Just let me get, get you on a shot. Then you don't have to worry about me anymore. Bagging a Rocky Mountain goat is a challenge even for experienced hunters. Like bighorn sheep, they tend to stick and to mountain down. faces above the timberline where they're difficult to pick off. Try scouting them when they graze the meadows during the daytime. Where is he? He should be down by now. Yep, there he is. He piled up right there. And this is going to be second mountain goat of the day. And let's see what he's going to be. Just a, another three. We got a terrible shot. 200 yards away straight. And that's exactly how I got the other mountain goat. So that's two. Um, 200 yards away. And also, I've never got one of these type of mountain goat before where they're light gray. Well, I got him from 200 yards away, and he's 200 pounds. And he just would have been a big silver. But that's gonna be second mountain goat of the day. And also, where is it at? Also, for turkey, I have birdshot and buckshot of this. So I have birdshot bullets and buckshot bullets for the shotgun. Reload. 
usually when I come up here, there's a bunch of animals, just so you know where I got all those mountain goat. I got the first mountain goat right over there, and that level three just right where I am right now. And also, that location where, like where they are, is just right up there. Earlier when I was hunting, I got a level seven mount, I mean, not mountain goat, level seven mountain lion is what I got. So I'm gonna go back to where do I want to go next? I'm gonna try some more hunting here, but not sure if it's gonna work out the best. But if not, if there's no more animals, I'm gonna travel over to the Wild Turkey Outpost. Cause there's usually sometimes animals there. And also, Wild Turkey Outpost is where I was sneaking up on that bear and I managed to get the bear, but it spooked so I had to get a terrible intestine shot. So, I n didn't notice this thing until the day the AR came out, and I do have the AR in slot two. So that is what I'm gonna use for this pronghorn and mule deer, because it works a lot on them pretty good. And also where I got that black bear where I was sneaking up, he was right there. And also in yesterday's video, I was wrong. I, I might not have a taxidermized all of them, but I've not got six diamonds. I've got 14. But I might not have a taxidermized all, but I've got 14 diamonds. Well, let me just show you that. I'm going to go to there. And look at there. As you can see, it says diamond. And when you look over there, it says 14. So, I've actually got 14 diamonds, but... I've been wanting to get a great one for so long, but I've got zero. So uh, I don't like that. I've been wanting to get a great one red deer for so long now. So I'm working on that. Usually there would be a plains bison right there, a plains bison right there, and usually a bear right there. So I don't know why. So, so... Usually the elk like to be over there, but I'm gonna go see because I'm way too far to see. I think I'm at a render distance. It is let me check something. Yeah, no, it's not there. I was just gonna see, like, see that yellow line there. So when you're tracking down an animal, if the animal goes past that yellow, yellow line, you're never gonna find it. So I was just gonna see if it was past that. Just so I would know if it's out, out of render distance. Because when you're tracking down animals, that yellow line is out of render distance of tracking. So that's why they want you to get a good shot. Because if you get a bad shot and those animals run past that line, that's not a good hunting shot. So you want to gonna make a good hunting shot. So, what is this? Usually when I come by, I can't even press E and see what this is from. But it do usually doesn't tell you what it's from. It just says, like, brown and very old. Or brown and... Brown and light brown. Or, like, light gray and just now. So it would just be like that. One time I got a plains bison right there, but th I thought that shadow was a plains bison. But we got, told you, elk usually like to be everywhere. Oh, um, I know, the pronghorn always like to be over there. Got her, but terrible shot, but that should have made it count right there. So let's see if she ends up 
going down because I'm not the best shooter from animals looking straight at me because I'm not the best heart shooter. And also all the elk are over there. They also usually love to be over there. Is that the same elk from yesterday's video? Because that same level 3 was there. He was eating right there. And he was a brown color. And <laughs> he was a level 3. But this track went off. And, I, and it was this track. That that brown horn was from. So let's track her down. And see if she ended up having any percentage going down. Maining off our own plans by so thank you that it was not a maining. But that's a decent size three, but I don't wanna get a I don't wanna get charged by it, so I'm just gonna keep running away. Oh <laughs> well she did end up going down. Well let's get this pronghorn so it's just gonna be Oh flesh, I'm telling you, I'm not the best shooter from doing that and just an intestine shot and just a little 38 score on this pronghorn. Well, I'm gonna go try to get these elk. Let's see if I can get these. Wait, where are the elk? Or I get the plant bison. Uh, I don't know, but where is the blades boss? Okay, the elk are right there. Also, not you're supposed to use the AR to the elk, so that's a nice little fact. Uh, I'm gonna take this shot with this. Get him. Got him. Finally, but silly just going down. And if I see him fall, I would go get him. So I'm just gonna go get him. There goes a pronghorn. There goes a pronghorn. Just let me go get this elk, and I think that's going to be it once I get that elk. What are you doing? Oh, there he is right there. Didn't even have to do anything. That's a decent size three, but I don't think I need to do that, because I, once I pick up this elk, it's going to be it. So let me just get over here and pick up this big elk. Cause this elk was that in that exact same spot the other day. And earlier when I was hunting, I figured out that you're supposed to use the AR on the elk. So he's gonna be, uh... oh, intestines? It's crazy. The first shot was intestines, I don't know why, but good thing I got a consecutive and just not the biggest, but um, Rocky Mountain Elk down. I think that's going to be it for today's video. And I will see you next time.